Hey, what's good y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be going back to my roots a little bit. I'll be doing a tutorial on how to run multiple copies of Diablo 2 Resurrected, just like I do in my streams. Now this is almost a must if you're planning on playing mostly by yourself, but you want to be able to rank in the ladder, you want to be able to trade with other players, which in my opinion is the best of both worlds. Because in my case, I get a four player lobby, all the loot is mine, and all the super unique monsters have their quest flag set to one, meaning all their, I get all their first time drop bonus. So I take a fourth character that's a fresh entry into hell, I create the game with them, and then join the game with my other four characters. It, it's goaded. Now the best case would be able to find it in someone else like me that has a four box. We go into the same game and we split uh, farming routes. Like they get act one and three and I get act four and five, for example. That way you get the highest drop chance for everything and you retain all the loot. You don't got to fight for shit, which is like kind of one of the biggest pain in the asses in this game, especially if you have like a shittier computer. I vacuum up loot straight up, like, you're not gonna beat me if we're in the same game. But I feel bad for other people, so... You know, you can't just hog everything the whole time. But anyway, my current setup, I got a Cold Source, Summon Necro, War Cries Barb, and a Smite Paladin. They all use the Act 2 Mercenary. One with the Might Aura. One with Defiance, one with Prayer, and one with Holy Freeze. Couple that with the Smite Paladin, who has max fanaticism. The Barb Buffs, who has max uh, Battle Orders and Shout. So everyone gets more than double HP, mana, and an additional skill level, and defense. And then the ne Necromancer provides a massive army to distract everything and actually kill shit because they're buffed out their ass. And then the source wrecks all non-cold immunes. So it's a pretty goaded setup. Alright, so let me show you now how you actually do this. Alright, so the requirements list for this is pretty low. Pretty easy. You need a program called Sys Internals Process Explorer. The download link is right here. And that's this program right here. What it does is you can click on any process running on your computer. You can see all the handles associated with that process. And you can also view, if you wanted to, all associated DLLs with these executables. But we don't need the DLL. We just need to be able to find a handle for this. So I'm going to go back to the view and switch to handles. And the second thing you're going to need is as many Battle.net accounts with copies of Diablo 2 Resurrected as you want to run. So for me, I have four different accounts. I've got four different games running. So the first step, go to ins the install directories of your copies. Uh, this is the optional part right here. Step two, create shortcuts of the different Diablo 2 resurrected launcher.exes and put it in one place. So that's what this is. You can see the install location for these are all different. It's a copy. It's a copy two. And this is the normal one. So once you have that, you run one of them. You bring up your Battle.net launcher, you hit play on one of them. It 
go to launch the game. Now I haven't tested this part yet, doing it this early, but I'm going to try it now. So you go to the game, executable, and by default, you want to look for an event called Diablo 2 check for other instances. By default, the events are filtered towards the top, so you should be able to just click on one of these and find it as like the one, two, three, four, seventh item down. Right click that, select close handle. Yes. And that handle goes away. We go into the game, go into the lobby. Now for me, I automatically log into Battle.net when I start my computer, so I have to manually log out here. Close the app. The app should no longer be running here. It's gone. So let me go to the next one. Run it. And then this time, log into your second account. I'm only going to do two. I'm not going to do all four just to show you how it works. And here we go. You bring up the new one and look, the play button is selectable. It doesn't show that one's already running so you can hit play. Go back to the new one, close that event handle. Make sure I have the right one selected. And yeah, that's really it right here. That's all you got to do. Pretty easy. Then you can create a game. And the other one could join it. both in the same game, as you can see. Here we are. So yeah, that's basically it. And then you just repeat that process from one to six here for each instance you want. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. So uh, yeah. Enjoy. Happy hunting. Thanks for watching. If anybody else has a uh, four stack copy that they want to group up with and farm with me, I'm always down to split hell or something. Just hit me up. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check the, uh, the Twitter down here. I usually say when I go live. And I've been doing a four box at Diablo 2 or Counter Strike Global Offensive getting ready for that Counter Strike 2 drop in the summer. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.